Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Doc Hikari, and I'm doing something a little special this Wednesday because I missed a couple of days of recording. So I thought, hey, I've got this ongoing series of Pokemon going on right now. Let's enhance the Pokemon experience. I just started playing uh, the Pokemon TCG Online, and um, I actually just started playing again in real life. So I just redeemed a deck code for a um, XY Breakthrough Night Striker deck featuring Noivern. Now if I... Um, I was going to say if I apply the right filter, I can find the cards right away, but honestly, I've never even used these filters, so... Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be a learning experience for both of us. Well, I know it's an XY deck, so let's start there. I'm getting these little tips of the game not responding. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's fine now. Okay. Um, X, Y, breakthrough. Yeah. Okay. So let's apply that filter. <clears throat> and I didn't even know I had this Doduo and Dodrio, but this Cresselia came in the deck I had purchased, as well as Ghastly, Gengar, and Haunter. It's not like a super powerful Haunter with that creep show attack, but it's definitely very interesting. So there's the Haunter in K that came with the deck. And yeah, I guess I have a couple other XY breakthrough cards. There's my Crystal Shard Hollow Noivern. That, that Zoroark, that's where it's at. With Mind Jack, this attack does 30 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokémon. You use that when your opponent has a full bench. That is 160 damage. Now, that's not quite enough to take out, like, an EX or a GX, but that'll do some damage. It's, considering Zoroark itself is not an EX Pokémon, that's an awesome attack. Um, there's something else I wanted to do. Oh, I can get a list version, huh? Okay. I have some booster packs. Well, I guess I'll go back to the original carousel-style display. So I thought it would be really cool if I started off this particular app by opening a couple of booster packs. Now give me a second, I'm going to check on the stats of my recording. Everything seems to be going normally, and I'm sorry if my voice is a little louder. I'm actually adapting to having um, a couple of new things in the room I record in. One of them is an air purifier, and it's quite loud. <clears throat> I also got a cooling pad slash dual fan cooling pad for the laptop. And I'm sure that's making some ambient noise as well. So what I did was I increased my microphone volume to sort of compensate. And I see I'm hitting real close to that zero. But I don't know what else to do. So, um... I know I'm just now in the red. I'm gonna have to play it and see how it sounds. And, um... I also have to adjust for the, the volume of this game. Which, having not recorded yet, I don't know what the bass volume will be. That said, let's go ahead and open some booster packs. I found out the way you do it, you click here, then you get this little open pack icon. And you got 
tearing. You're tearing with your, your mouse. <laughs> All right, we got a dark energy. A lit Leo, which I actually need in real life because I have a Pyroar. A Pop Leo. A Slugma, who's not too bad, actually. He has to discard a card to use Flamethrower, but... A Picky Peck. A Hop It. Quill Lava. Not bad, not bad. Super Singe leaves the opponent's active Pokemon burned. A Giraffe Rig. A Carbink, uncommon. A Reverse Hollow Quill Lava, that same one that I just complimented. And let's see what the special card of this pack is. Oh, it's a Granbull. A fairy type Granbull. That's cool. I don't think I have the energy to use it. But that's totally okay. I guess maybe like Lee, I should start doing the Guess the Energy game every time I open a pack. Okay, that's a pretty cool Zatu, but let's start from the beginning. We got a Fighting Energy, a Combi, another Litleo from the same set, a Cutie Fly, a Hopip, a Cyndaquil, that's cool, now I'll be able to use that cool lava that I like. <clears throat> A Fairy Charm. Prevent all damage done to the Fairy Pokemon this card is attached to from your opponent's Grass Pokemon GX and Grass Pokemon EX. Very interesting. Got myself an Adventure Bag. There's that Zatu that I like. A Reverse Hollow Uncommon Dugtrio. Oh, oh it's a Lowen Dugtrio, that's why it's got three different hairstyles. Love those claymation cards. I always find them super amusing. Okay, special card for this pack is a fairy type Wigglytuff, which seems all right to me. Again, I'm not sure I could use it, so let's open up this Sun and Moon series team up booster pack. I guess you tear from the right. I screwed it up the first time. <laughs> But well, still did it. Two special cards. Ooh. Alright, a water energy from the team up set. A dragon type Dratini. A psychic type Tentacool. Looking pretty darn cool. Look at those psychedelic waves behind him. A Ponyta, which is pouncing down on its front hooves. An Alolan Grimer that looks a lot uglier than the one I have in real life. That is a... I don't have any cards from this set. A Lullaby. A Cosmo. And that's cool because I actually, um... My wife and I were discussing what kind of theme deck she should get. Uh, because the Pokemon Center is doing free shipping right now. At least they were when I checked a day or two ago. <clears throat> And she got a Hidden Moon theme deck from... I'm holding the box right here. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising set. And um, that includes a Cosmog, a couple of Cosmogs and Cosmoem, and then a couple of Lunalas, including a Crystal Shard Hollow Foil Lunala. Persian looking sassy. I have a kitty cat right across the room from me looking like that. Uh, a stadium card, Lavender Town. Once during each player's turn, that player may have their opponent real, reveal their hand. Okay, a Reverse Hollow Rare Nine Tails, or I guess they call them Parallel Hollow. Uh, if you look at the checklists that come with some of the theme decks. So that's really nice. A beautiful Ninetales card. Just look at that energy and attitude it's emitting. And last but not least for this pack, a rare non-holographic Parasect. 
That's cool though, Parasect is cool. All right, two more packs to open. And then I'll do, I'll do some deck building, a CPU battle, and then an online battle or two, depending on how long this ends up taking me. A steel type energy, a Murkrow who is flying. I, I don't think I've seen artwork of a Murkrow flying before, so that's really neat. A dragon type gibble. I don't even know what that is. So I'm still catching up on the new species. A Dupider. A dark type Stunky, which is clearly a skunk type Pokemon. A Turtwig. Who's that drawn by? That is Ken Sugimori art. I could almost recognize that anywhere by this point. Nice. Okay, a steel type Magneton. Not bad, not bad. A Rotom. Also not bad. It, it's got a powerful attack, it just can't attack two turns in a row if you use Plasma Slice. A Unit Energy. Never seen this one before. This card provides colorless energy. While this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides electric, psychic, and steel type energy, but provides only one energy at a time. Okay, important to know. Trainer, supporter card, Mars, which I guess, yeah, that's a parallel hollow foil. Draw two cards if you do discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Well, that's a nice strategy wrecker. And the last card of this pack, a Wash Rotom, rare, non-holographic. And now we will open this Sword and Shield series, Sword and Shield base set booster pack. <clears throat> Whoop. Open her up. All right, I got a Fire Energy, can't have too many of them. A Cottony, a Chewtle, which is another Pokemon that I've never seen before. Interesting. A Rhyhorn. A Rookady. A Krabby. Oh, I like how he's surrounded by like, almost magical-looking bubbles. That's a really cute, crabby card. Pokemon Center Lady. I actually, I have one of those that came with my Night Striker deck. It's just, um, different art because it's from a different set. Bead, I'm going to pronounce it. Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Okay. Raboot. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if I have the previous form. A Mudbray, who appears to be avoiding getting caught. That is the Parallel Hollow foil from this pack, and that's really funny. It's just a silly looking Mudbray. He looks like he's seen some things. Definitely seen some things. Okay, and... That is a hollow foil. Nice. I was. I'm glad to get at least one good pull. Um, Copperaja, I guess. Not bad. It's a pretty cool card. And that's all I have as far as packs to open today. So what I need to do. Oh, that's really interesting. I think I actually have... No, it's not an Arceus, or Arceus, however it's pronounced. Um, I have a car I have a coin that looks a lot like that. I'll talk about that later, though. Possibly in the next episode. So how do I... 
No, I don't want to trade it. I just want to use it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm clearly still figuring a couple things out here. I'm sorry about that. So I'm in my collection. Just need to find the, the deck building mechanic. There we go, deck manager. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I, I do feel a little bit dumb for that. This is a deck that I had built on my own from the cards that were supplied to me by the game itself. I think... I think I ordered a deck that has that same Moltres card in it on the way. It has not arrived yet, but, um, yeah, it's largely a Thunder Fire type deck. It's got a few trainers, a few more than I usually use. Ah, there's the exact Pokemon Center Lady that I actually own, and, um, Giovanni's Scheme also came with my Neuvern deck. Oh, I see. That's why. Select the coin. Now, what's strange about that, the coin that came with my deck is not light blue. It is actually silver with sort of a, um... Oh, I should have saved that. It is silver with a sort of square pattern, like a digitized square pattern going over it. Now, let's see about modifying this deck. I think... Well, I'll go ahead and test it and show you guys some actual footage of the TCG. Again, I am going to check my recording settings. Everything appears to be functioning normally. <clears throat> um, as far as my avatar goes, that was just completely random. I haven't chosen an avatar. I guess I probably should. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put Ghastly as my active. And I only have a Ralts as a basic Pokemon in my hand. Well, now I have another Ghastly. Okay. I attach a Psy Energy to Ghastly. I can't attack. Really? Why not? Hmm. Okay. I play Tierno. Where do I play that? Up here? Yes. To draw three more cards. Let's see. Alright, I attach a Psy Energy to Ghastly, and I evolve Ghastly into Haunter. Sure, I will confuse both active Pokémon. Okay, I understand confusion. I'll give everybody who's watching just a second to read that. Um, actually, I'll read it out loud. If you attack with a confused Pokémon, flip a coin. If Tails, the attack does nothing and put three damage counters on the confused Pokémon. Uh, that's interesting because to my knowledge it was two damage counters previously. So I am still catching up with the rules. Ouch. Well, that's okay. What? Um... 
Yes, actually, I will play supporter card Pokemon Fan Club. I add Zerua. And I guess Ralts. No. Yeah. Yeah, Ralts to add to my deck. Or from my deck to my hand. I attach a dark type energy to Zerua. And I foolishly attempt to attack with Poison Ring. Oh, nice! I got a head. Okay. Now my opponent's Pokemon is both poisoned and confused. How you like that, Brittany? I may as well take a moment to point out this is offline. Uh, you do need to be online to start the game. But right now I am testing my deck against an offline non-player character. I don't think I need that right now. Instead, I will play Professor's Letter for a Dark and a Psy Energy. Done. I attach a Psy Energy. Huh. I just realized when I was fishing for basic Pokemon, I did not see Noibat. Not cool, dude. Um, I play Switch. And I end my turn. Okay, I picked this as my prize card. Dark energy, alright. <coughs> I attach a Psy energy to my second Ghastly. And then I attack with Moonless Madness to confuse my enemy Pokémon. It seems to me like Confusion and somewhat Poison, uh, they seem to be really strong aspects of the XY Breakthrough Night Striker deck. I'm going to evolve Zerua into Zorark, and then I'm going to attack with Mind Jack. Able to draw another prize, a Psy Energy. Nothing special, but you can't attack without energy cards. Give me one second. I am telling a friend of mine about this game because I want him to really get it as long as he's interested you know so um <clears throat> other than bringing you all some extra content a big reason that I'm making this episode and makeup is to show it off to my buddy but I also think it's really cool so Hopefully, you will too. That's what I'm hoping for, you know? So I just saw an opportunity to do something a little different. And I'm having fun. I hope you all are too.
Yeah, that Zoroark is, um, just super powerful. Or it can be. Okay. I attach a Dark Energy to this Ralts. I place an Inke on my bench. And I attack with Mind Jack. <laughs> ah! There's a Noibat. Okay, I attach another Dark Energy to the same Ralts. And I evolve Ralts into Karelia. And once more, attack with Mind Jack. It'll do less damage this time, but that's totally okay. Okay, opponent uses Tierno to draw three cards, then an energy retrieval. Unfortunately, since my opponent has less benched Pokémon, Mind Jack does way less damage now. But it doesn't seem like my opponent has anything to do, so that works for me. Victory! Cool. Hey, that is a lot of damage dealt for such a short period of time. What are my options here? Ah, okay. Yeah, that Zoroark was definitely my MVP that time. Alright, so let's create a new deck. I'm gonna go with Unlimited for now, because I'm not too, too sure on what cards are tournament legal. I've been looking that up, but I'm still just not 100% on it. Let's see what I can put together here in little to no time. Um, I'm going to go for a Cyburn deck, which for me, is not at all unusual. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that Entei. I know I want a Moltres or two in this deck. Well, that's Psy and Fighting, otherwise I would put it right in. Get some good old-fashioned ghost Pokémon up in my deck. What? What is the deal with that giraffe rig? I'll take it. I think it says that the attack is not affected by weakness and resistance. Yeah, I do not have a Jigglypuff to use my Wigglytuff that I just got, but that's okay. That's really funny, that Kangaskhan. I am pretty sure... I have a, um... <clears throat> I have a Lugia theme deck 
on the way that I ordered. It's called um, Rising... No. Sky Guardian, I think. And uh, it comes with two of those Kangaskhan, if I'm not at all mistaken. And I just got that very same Gyarados in the mail. That's awesome. Ooh, what kind of Gyarados is that? Oh, I've seen that online. Okay. I guess with my current lack of some types of Pokemon, I'm going to want to really be considerate of how I put this deck together. Okay, a very nice Gallade. A few more Pokemon ought to do it. I'll try these guys. I'll try some new strategy over old strategy. And maybe that'll pay off. Just a couple more trainer cards. And then I'm going to need a lot of fire and a lot of psi energy. So let's see, that's 29 cards. Okay, 30. Now, I've read and heard that it's very common for tournament players to have decks that have like up to 30 trainer cards in them, and I just, I've never done that. So for me, um, it's a lot more of a... <clears throat> Make sure you have enough Pokemon and energy cards to supplement what it is that you want to do with your deck. And trainer cards, um, they can help support that, absolutely. But if they're taking up so much of your deck that you have to use trainer cards to get the cards that you want. That just seems like... 
<clears throat> to me, counterproductive. Okay, I the deck is built, so I guess I hit save. Use this as my coin. I'll choose this as my deck box. And I kind of like these black and white hexes sleeves. So I will use them and click save. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the deck test. And if it's any good, then I'll do an online battle with it and see how that works out. Ah, I have to click here. <clears throat> okay, not a bad starting hand. Could be better. Let's see what happens. I suppose for the deck test, um, you, you the player, always goes first, so I can't play a supporter on my first turn. Or is it not? Yeah, I had to have just taken a turn, I was allowed to attach an energy. I play Pokemon Fan Club, search my deck for two basic Pokemon and add them to my hand. I'm going to choose Kangaskhan and Tepig. Who I will immediately be adding to my bench. Now, is it time to evolve? Cyndaquil. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, I attack with Hammer In. So, I will say this, uh, Rico, if you're still watching, this game is 100% controlled by the mouse. Uh, but I'm using the pad right now and not a real mouse, and it's just fine. So it's not, you know, I understand how that can be a pain for certain shooters. But for this, it works quite well. I am liking me this cool lava. Okay. I'm going to click this, but read it out loud. If your Pokemon is burned, put a burn marker on it. Between turns, put two damage counters on the burned Pokemon. Then that Pokemon's owner flips a coin. If heads, the Pokemon returns to normal. I don't think it says that last part about flipping the coin on my um, 2015 and 16 play mats. So I'm glad that I'm doing this. It's helping me catch up on the rules even more. And since it is a game I'm playing almost daily now, I like to play by the actual rules. Go ahead and use Super Singe to burn that Stunky. Draw another prize. Already this deck seems to be working a lot faster. <clears throat> Okay, I attach another Fire Energy to Tepig. I attack with Super Singe. Burning that poor Raichu.
and burn knocks out the opponent's Raichu in between turns, making it my turn, and allowing me to draw a prize for the victory. I place a Psy Energy on Rolfs, and no surprise, I attack with Super Singe. <clears throat> Yeah, it's kind of, um, like I've been building decks for this game for so long, not TCG Online, but the actual card game. I could put together a pretty decent deck in just a matter of minutes. I'm sure eventually, like, some tournament player is going to see what I did and just rage, like, No, you're doing it all wrong! And I, you know, it's just the way I do it. It works for me. Okay, I add a Ghastly to my bench. I add a Fire Energy to Kangaskhan. And... Okay, I don't get a prize card for knocking out the Robo Doll. What is with this series and naming professors after trees? I play trainer card Mars. To draw two cards, I evolve my Ralts into Corellia. Wow, what a pretty Corellia card. I like the one that came with my Night Striker deck. It's like, uh. It looks to me like the Corellia is dancing around in some sort of, um. club. Nah, I don't really need Energy Search, but I appreciate the recommendation. Awesome! <clears throat> so, right there, um didn't take nearly as much time, and it seems like I have built a very solid Cyburn deck, just for starters. Okay, so it counts as both expanded and unlimited. I'm not sure which of the cards are too old to be tournament legal. But, um... I'll favorite this deck. I did want to point out a couple of things I did to have this game running faster and also just, um, it doesn't look better, but it runs smoother. Huh. It did not save my settings. Okay. Oh no, yes it did. Fastest, not best looking. So that's what I did. I, I put it on fastest settings, windowed. It's got a big screen resolution, but that doesn't really seem to affect anything. Let's go ahead and change my avatar so I no, no longer have the pre-applied one I was given. <clears throat> Can I just... <laughs> I'm just going to click random until I get one I like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who has a mustache like that? Oh my gosh. Some of these randos, though. Okay. 
good enough for me. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So let's go ahead and get into the actual game. So these are challenges for which you can unlock booster packs and other things. And they give you these theme decks that you can use. And I guess when you enter a code to unlock a theme deck like I did before I started recording today, you were allowed to use theme decks for trainer challenges. Mick, you're looking a little, uh, evil today, pal. Okay, I'll choose Inke as my active Pokemon. Add a Mystery Vest to my bench. Add Cresselia to my bench. Attach a Dark Energy to Inke, and I end my first turn. Alright, I add a Psy Energy to Inkei. I play Skyla, and I'm going to search my deck for Pokemon Center Lady, assuming that it's not in my prize pile. Yay! Okay, done. And I attack with Disorderly Flip. To do 10 out of a maximum of 40 damage before Weakness and Resistance. Add him a Ghastly to my bench. Attach a Psy Energy to Grisilia. And I don't want to lose Inkei just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and play Pokemon Center Lady. And then I attack with Disorderly Flip. Hopefully for better results this time. Slightly better. I like how you can see my deck box down in the bottom left corner here, because I actually own that deck box now. I'm going to place Mischievous as my active to give me an extra turn to prepare Cresselia. It's not the strategy I would prefer, but Mischievous is not exactly the best Pokémon in my theme deck, so... I'll just have to burn a turn to get Cresselia ready. Okay, I attach a Dark Energy to Cresselia, and attack with Moonlight Gain. <coughs> Excuse me. Attach a Psy Energy to Ghastly. Attack with Moonlight Gain again. And thankfully that heals 20 off of Cresselia. I'm already foreseeing that Cresselia is going to be my MVP this time around. And I have absolutely no problem with that. I will play trainer card Tierno. Tierno. My mistake. I place a, a Noibat and an Inkay on my bench. I guess I had um, Zubat and Noibat confused in my head for a second there. 
then I use Priscilla to attack with Moonlight Game for 70, and it heals itself for 20. And it looks like this is going to be my opponent's last turn. They are out of benched Pokémon, and completely unable to stop me from attacking this turn. All the same, I use an energy search, or professor's letter to search for energy. I add a dark energy to Zerua. Attack with Priscilla for 70. And wipe that smug look off of Mick's face. Alright, I completed a daily challenge. Yup, there's Cresselia as my MVP. I guess I received a Sun and Moon Lost Thunder booster pack for completing that trainer challenge. And it looks like I have enough time to do one online battle and then I am going to... No, no, not there. And then I'm going to open <clears throat> any and all booster packs I have received today. Ooh. That's a pretty card. So here you can see the chain of versus rewards. I think you get a star every time you win. But I'm about to find out. I like your Pikachu, duds. Alright, so... <clears throat> Already we have, uh... A, my Cyburn deck is going up against a Dark and Fairy type deck, and that's a very interesting matchup. Okay, they have to mulligan. I wish I could've. Because all I have is a Ghastly. My odds are not looking too good, this particular match. So, if it's quick, if it's very brief... Then, um, I guess I'll play another online. Oh, I should have hit yes, because I'm in bad straits. Oh, I'm in really bad straits. Who we? What? Oh my gosh! What is this person's deck even? Okay. I attack with sleep poison because I can't do anything else. So there's the description of sleep. We'll go ahead and click. Don't show this again. I play Pokemon Fan Club in an attempt to keep myself from getting completely wrecked this time around. So I add Kangaskhan and Moltres to my hand. Whom I add to my bench. I attach a Fire Energy to Moltres. And I attack with Sleep Poison, because it's the best chance I've got to do something right now. Oh crapa, they're awake already. But they're not attaching energy to the active tag team.
Okay, I play Mars. Hopefully that messes you up a little. What did you discard? Hmm, that could have helped me actually, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Guess I will attack with Sweet Poison, doing nothing. Is that what I think it is? Double colorless. Well, that doesn't seem like it would help for this Pokemon at all. What are you doing? Hmm. Very strange. So this is mostly a cautionary tale. <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be any sort of ranking that divides the players, so you don't end up playing against somebody who has a way better deck than you way too soon, uh, which is okay. But because of that, you can land yourself in a situation just like me where your opponent has all these ridiculous, overpowered cards. Yeah, I'm actually going to play Judge. And hopefully that messes up my opponent's strategy a little bit. Add a Tepig to my bench. And I already attached an energy this turn, so... Yes, I'm sure. I want to end my turn without attacking. As my opponent was already both asleep and poisoned, it wouldn't would not have made a huge difference. Even if I did. That's what's going on here. Yowchies. And what what amount of damage does that attack do? Okay, well that was their one GX attack for the battle, so I'm going to see what happens. Oh my gosh, I underprepared. I thought, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? And why didn't... Giovanni's scheme didn't do anything. That's crazy. What happened? I chose the option to do 20 more damage to my opponent's active Pokémon per this turn, and I didn't attack for 20, which only did 20 damage. That's not right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Um, I'm gonna lose this one. I, I can see that clearly. I'm outclassed. Or outranked, as I was talking about. There's no rank system in this game. For versus. So, 
very unfortunate though it may be. Well, that's pretty much it. I don't... There's absolutely nothing I can do in terms of giving myself cards that I just plain don't have. And I can't even attack this turn. So, my deck is very entry level. I was gloating about how, how good it was working from the get. Um, but I think it goes without saying that without having super powerful cards, just like my opponent does, um, I'm not going to be getting anywhere very quickly. Play Energy Search. Add a Fire Energy to Moltres. And I'm going to play Lissandra to switch out my opponent's active Pokemon with the GX Tag Team card they already had in play. Because that's my best chance to do damage. There's no energy attached to it. But of course my opponent can do that. <clears throat> Yikes. I should have just done the Mega Punch. I know it would have done 20 less damage, but... And it looks like this is where I lose, everybody. So, for all of you and my fan base who like to see me get whooped, this one was for you. Defeat! Okay. So, I'm gonna go to my collection. <clears throat> Go to the PAX tab. There it is. A Sun and Moon Lost Thunder Booster Pack. That's cool. Um, The first two decks I bought were the Let's Play Eevee and Let's Play Pikachu two-player <clears throat> starter deck set. Excuse me. <clears throat> and um, a lot of the cards in the Let's Play Pikachu deck are Lost Thunder. So, I wonder if I'll see anything that I already know. Ooh, all new cards except for that Giraffe Rigged. So, Dark Energy. Stunfisk. Whatever that is. A very cute Chica Rita. A Alolan Meow. That's a sassy kitty. A Yamask. <clears throat> a Jigglypuff. So now I will be able to use Wigglytuff should I choose. A Mantine. Very cute. It's slow, but it does 100 damage and has 120. That's not bad at all for a basic. There's that Giraffe Rig again. Giraffe Rig. Mixed herbs. Faba. And the special card for today's pack. A non-holographic dance party Wabufet. 
So that's pretty cool. All right, and that makes for an hour. <clears throat> Everybody, thank you for watching. I'm going to try and do this um, maybe once a week or once every other week. I'm liking switching up the games because it's uh, it's keeping me interested, you know? And I'm also liking doing the sort of Pokemon double feature thing. So this was a makeup for my lack of recording on Monday and Tuesday. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Doc Hikari, and this has been my first app of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Hope you all had a lot of fun. I know I did. More to come. Over and out.